What to consider when planning a vertical cannabis grow facility? Lighting and vertical space requirements Lighting technology and selection will directly impact the ceiling height and upper level access requirements. Typically HID lights require 24 to 72 inches of clearance from the top of the canopy to the bottom of the light fixture. You can mount LED fixtures much closer to the canopy, in some cases only a few inches, which is ideal for double stacking. Vertical irrigation Keep in mind that pump performance decreases as vertical flow requirements lift, increases. Access to sprayers and drip heads for maintenance is also important. Designs should assume that you'll need access to each plant in the room on any given day of its growth cycle. Creating a homogeneous environment Without proper airflow patterns, vertical grows are especially prone to temperature and humidity fluctuations from zone to zone. The supply air from the HVAC system must be correctly mixed with room air and then supplied to the canopy. Too little velocity will fail to deliver the air to every plant in each row. Too much will force rapid transpiration and other damage. If you're considering a multi-tier design, be sure to work with an HVAC designer who has experience with these types of configurations. Despite its challenges, with the right design, a vertical grow can be a great option for cultivators with limited square footage. Are you considering climate control designs for a multi-level CEA grow? Let us know what questions you have and get connected with a CERNA representative today. Don't miss other helpful tips, like and subscribe for more.